June is almost here. And for me, that means I'm cash stuffing for yet another month in my budget. Hi guys, guys, and non-binary house. Welcome to Budget with Ira. My name is Ira, and on this channel, we talk about budgeting, paying down debt, and saving up for the life that you truly deserve. If that sounds like something you'd like to watch, please consider subscribing to the channel, because we do have a lot of fun over here, bestie. We really, really do. Before I started this sort of debt-free journey and cash stuffing, I didn't quite anticipate quite how much I'd be going to the bank. And it is wild how much money I withdraw from the bank and put in every month. It's very, very annoying. But let me tell you, the stress the cash stuffing has removed from my life and the freedom that I now feel because I'm cash stuffing is so beyond worth it. In today's video, we're going to be updating my June budget. We did that together like four weeks ago. And can I tell you, besties, that you really have shown up for me this month on Etsy. I did a budget that was really, really like quite challenging for me. And I think we're going to be okay. So much so that we're going to be able to get quite a lot of my 100 envelope challenge done today as well. I'm so excited to show you this. And yeah, we are cash stuffing well over a thousand pounds today. So should we get into it? Okay, here we are with my paycheck bill tracker. This was my budget that I laid out in readiness for June and it did quite well. So I projected pretty uh, reasonable uh, incomes and they were there or thereabouts of what I was expecting to get. Now, the reason why they're much higher than normal is because for me, June is gonna be a five week month. So a lot of the things are a lot more than I was expecting to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through everything and let you know how much I got and how that's going to affect the budget. So the first thing to look at really is income. So as always, Jake will always pay up exactly what I ask him to do. I think if I asked for an extra hundred pound, he'd still do it, he'd be none the wiser, but I'm not gonna rip him off. It's 429 at 37. We always count Patreon, which is always gonna be 200 pounds as well, and that'll come in on the first as well. So I know I can rely on that amount of money. And thank you to everybody who is a Patreon who supports me on that level, because that is a bit of a lifeline for me. Okay, so then we've got YouTube and Etsy. So what I was uh, hoping to get was 2,207.97, and what I actually got was 2,259.51. So slightly more than I was expecting. So because I've got ambitions with the 100 envelope challenge, I am gonna make some changes internally, uh, and then I'm not gonna take anything from emergency. So I was hoping to get 283734, and what it's actually gonna be is 288888. So lots of eights there. <laughs> um, the bills aren't really gonna change whatsoever. So nothing is uh, any different, and I have remembered to budget everything on the high side. The only thing I am gonna do is, I don't know what I was thinking, but I wrote this budget when I was already overspending 24 pounds. I'm not actually planning to overspend, so I'm just using this little pocket tipex corrector here, uh, just to change that and make it back to a zero. I, I wrote it in, but it's not gonna affect that amount there, so it's gonna be zero there. So I'm not actually gonna make any changes there. So that will still come up to 1,172.34. Because of my new income, that's gonna leave me with 1,716.54. But I'm not gonna enter that amount of money in because it hasn't happened yet. So some of these bills might be more, they might be less. Moving over to envelopes, I'm going to do 150 pounds to spending. I am going to do 350 pounds to groceries, but petrol, I don't think I need 150 pounds and I want that extra 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce that down to 100, which is going to mean that I've got 20 pounds a week. So if I do decide to fill up my car, uh, I can do 20 pounds a week. That's not an issue. And household won't change because that is, shared money yeah so uh it's not 750 anymore it's actually going to be 650 which should leave me with 1066.54 now moving down to sinking funds car maintenance is going to be 25 water is going to be 25 uh i've got no choice i have to do the 85 pounds in the 
26 envelope challenge because those are the last five weeks left. There's no wiggle room. So I've got no option. I have to do 85 pounds. So that's going to be 85 pounds there. However, in the 100 envelope challenge, I have managed to weasel away 100 pounds. And that is from saving 50 pounds from petrol and earning an extra 50 pounds. So I'm really excited about that. Saving challenges are still going to be 300 pounds and the penny challenge, I'm still going to do 30 pounds. So what that leaves me or what that comes up to more like is 565 which should leave me with 501 pounds. So again, no pension contributions. And I know what you're going to say. I am going to do it one day. It's just not the right time for me. Uh, 250 pounds into my LISA and 250 pounds into my emergency fund. And what that comes up to is 500 pounds. Now, it should give me a really, really small buffer of one pound 54. And that does make me nervous. Uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, we are making money moves and we're trying to make things happen. So I'm manifesting no spends lots and lots of no spends and like unbudgeted week and stuff like that so yeah hopefully it works out for me so what i want to do now is just flip over to this page if i can get to the inside of the book this envelope page here so i've got some stickers to lay out because what i want to do now is i want to plan out exactly how much i'm going to be spending on each category and what types of elements of cash. What am I trying to tell you? <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna plan out all of the things I'm gonna be drawing out in cash and in what denomination. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're back here now. I've just filled out all the stickers that I needed for all of my categories, and I've used a Stabilo Pulse 0.88 fine, uh, fine liner just to draw the lines, and I've gone for a sexy brown to fit the budget barista theme. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll down all of these. So spending again is gonna be 150. Groceries is gonna be 350. Household is going to be 50. Car maintenance is 25, as it always is, and the same for water. 26 envelope challenge is going to be 85. And 100 envelope challenge is going to be 100. Saving challenges are just the ones that I do every single week. That's 300. And that might be a stretch because normally I stretch that over four weeks, but now it's going to go over five. So it's going to be a tough one, that is, but I will make it work. And then penny challenge is 30. So what that all adds adds up to is 1,115. So let's break this down. So first spending is 150 and I give myself a 30 pounds every week, which is a 20 and a 10. So that is five 20s, five 10s. And household is essentially the same. It's five 10s, but it is actually 15 20s because I get 70 pounds a week. Household, we are doing 50 pounds and that is a five tens. I don't know why I like it like that, but I really do. Coming in is a 25, so a five and 20, and the same for water, I'll stuff that in cash. And then the 26 envelope challenge is 85, but we're doing envelope 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So what that is actually gonna be, is gonna be 10 pounds, five fives, and five tens. And that adds up to 85. I have done the math, I swear. Now the 100 envelope challenge, we're doing today, in today's video, we're doing six envelopes, which is wild. So we're doing 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, and 22. So what that's gonna be is 15 ones. It's going to be three fives, four, no, five tens, and one 20. Now the saving challenges, that's like arbitrary. Um, I just get a random amount, but I've tried to split it by five. So it's actually gonna be 10 fives, five tens, and 10 twenties. And that adds up to 300 and it's quite easy to divide. So it's gonna be a 
two 20s, a 10 and two fives each week. So 40, 50, 60. So it's gonna be 60 pounds each week. Oh, I hope that works out all right. And then saving challenge is 30 pounds. Rather than getting that in pound coins, I'm just gonna get a 30 note because uh, then that releases change from the bag. And we'll do that together in a separate video or just the two of us, me and you, bestie. Anyway, uh, in terms of pound coins, we're gonna be doing 25 of them, which is 25 pounds. Where for fivers, we're doing 20 of them, which is 100 pounds. Uh, for tens, we're doing 31 of them, which is 310 pounds. And for twenties, we are doing 30, four of them, which is 680. 25 plus 100 plus 310 plus 680 is 1,150. Before I go to the bank, I'm going to be using my cash total slip. This is available on my Etsy store and it's a pad of 25 and they're just really easy to tear off cash totals. So it just makes it easier for when I go to the bank, I can make sure that I get the right elements that I have rather than taking my whole binder. And it, because it's just on recycled paper, once I finish with it, I can tear it off and throw it away. So it just seems just better for me. So let's just put this in. So 25, which is 25. 20, which is 100, 100, 31, which is 310, and 34, which is 680, and that is 1,115. So I'm going to tear this off. I'm going to take this to the bank, and then I will meet you back here for cash stuffing. Okay, so we're back. It's a lot of cash this month. It's not as much as normal, because obviously we ha don't have the uh, petrol money in here. But um, yeah, this uh, Back to Bank is just doing such a good job. It's much more robust than I even thought it was going to be. So uh, <laughs> I'm just really pleased with how it's working. So yeah, these are still available. And I think I've still got this lovely emerald color still available. So I'm gonna to refer to this. Um, I'm not gonna count this up, I trust them. Um, but the only thing is that they didn't have a lot of pound coins at the bank. Uh, they had some two pounds though. So we got it up to the same amount and I saw her do it. So yeah, so let's get this cash thing here. So this is a cash tray. I've got it in four different colors on my store and I absolutely adore it. So the lime green one just, it's just lovely. So let's start with fives. So what I should be having is 20 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so far so good. And then tens should be 31. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, should be 31. Did I count that wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah, I did count that wrong. So it's good to have a second count. Next, we have got the 20s, and there should be 34 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So I have all the money that I am supposed to have got the coins here. I'm just going to put them aside because we'll deal with them later. And now that this is done, I'm going to tear it up and well, ball it up, put it in the bin and then I don't need to worry about impacting the environment. I've got my sinking fund binder here and this is a stunning resin one that is completely custom to me. It is from Perfect and Personal UK. Uh, I think they took a break from making it on their Etsy store, but I think it's coming back really, really soon. So hopefully you'll be able to grab one for yourself soon. Her shop is linked in the bio as well. So if you did want to get one, um, they sell just beautiful, stunning, uh, glittery ones. If you wanted to get one for yourself, you can get 10% off, which is a just 
just brilliant. So today we are using these, and these are only on two sinking funds, and they come in a pad like this. You get 25 to a pad. I've got two left because I use them so often for <laughs> just for notes and stuff. But yeah, it's a little a tracker, it comes in really, really handy, and I like to use them for my comments and my water because these just have to be accurate. So we're starting today. Today is the 24th of the 5th, so I'm pretty much like on. Um, so we're gonna be adding in 25 pounds. Uh, we already had 200, which is in the bank, so it should be 225, which I know it is from doing that. So do a 20 and a five. And yeah, so we've got two placeholders and we've got 25 and that's, that's that. So I, I I hope I'll have enough money just in case like my car failed its MOT, but I, I'm not imagining it's going to, uh, like at all. So this one's gonna break the 100 pounds, so that's good. So 25 there, uh, and this should make it like 110, I think. So today is the 25th of the 5th. We're adding in 25, which should make it, yeah, that's right, 110. So let's count this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110. Very, very good. I'm very good at maths, as you can tell. <laughs> Okay, right, moving over to my weekly cash. So let's start here. So groceries is going to be 350, which should be five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and 15 twenties. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so this should all add up to 350. So two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two, four, six, eight, three. And we know this is gonna be 50. So one, two, three, four, five, perfect. So that works out really, really nicely. I'm so glad that I like upgraded my envelopes. It's so much nicer having the nice envelopes. <laughs> so I don't cash off petrol anymore, but I am gonna be cash stuffing my household. So I'm gonna hide it in here for now until next week when it's time to use it. So one, two, three, four, five. So that'll go in there because we're not doing petrol uh, as cash and it's going all right. I am using my credit card and like the first time I used it, I paid it off like that week and I need to hold my nerve. <laughs> but spending, we are doing 150 and one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. This money is going down very quickly. So this should add up to 150. So one, two, three, four, five. 70, 90, 110, 130, 150. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so this envelope is a dunzo. So what I want to do is bring back these pound coins <clears throat> and put them here. So we are doing the 26 envelope. So let's get 10 pounds out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 pounds in here. I'm just gonna put this aside. I know I've got the money to do all five weeks in one go, but it brings me joy to, be, to do one a week. So let me live my fantasy, bestie. We're doing three fives, one, two, three. We're doing five tens, one, two, three, four, five. No, that's not right, we're doing that many fives, and then 120. So we've got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 120, which is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, no, that's wrong. Where have I got the money wrong from? 10, five, and five, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right. This is correct. I'm reading off the wrong bit of paper. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Exactly as expected. <laughs> right, for the penny challenge, I'm doing a 30 pounds, but I'm not. I have in the past couple of 
months, drawn that out in pound coins, but I've got so many pound coins now that I don't actually need to do that. So this is just for sticking it into the penny challenge and then withdrawing all the money so that I've got the correct cash. So that's going in to the penny challenge now. And then what I'm left with is my 100 envelope challenge and my savings challenges. So the 100 envelope challenge is having 15 pounds. So uh, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's got 15 pounds there. It's also having three fives, one, two, three. And then it's also having five tens, one, two, three, four, five. It's also having a 20, right? So this should add up to a hundred pounds. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. No, that's wrong. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, and then 100. So we will deal with this money in a sec. But first, I want to check this. So this is the money that I'm holding aside for my savings challenges. It should come up to 300. So I'm just going to count this. And if it comes up to 300, it's just going to the side and then we'll deal, well, you'll see me spend it every single week in each check-in. So two, four, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight, two. So 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 250. So this should come up to 50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Perfect. So that's all I need. So that's the money for the savings challenges and that's done. So what I want to do now is move over to my 100 envelope challenge and get some of these envelopes done. Okay, so today we are getting six envelopes done and I'm just so excited. It's just gonna feel so, so, so good. So I'm gonna talk through one envelope first and then you'll get sort of me doing it fast. I get asked about this a lot. It's just glue tape. Um, it's not necessarily um, very good at all, um, but it just works for an envelope. So it just makes it a bit cleaner than getting some tape out and stuff like that. So we're doing the 13 envelope first and these are envelopes that I just pre-made. And I'm going to have to pre-make some envelopes for my 26 envelope challenge as well. Uh, but I do literally just can't wait until this is done. Uh, it has been something that has taken me so long to do, but it's finally going to be done. And to be able to reap the reward of £5,000 is going to feel incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to have it done. So that's the glue laid down and this envelope is the 13. So let's get a 10, a two and a one, put that in. Yeah, I'm just so excited to have it done. And so what the plan is, is I'm probably going to finish this with the patrons uh, after I've been paid from Patreon. Um, because we do a cash stuffing separately. It's one of the perks of being a patron. So you get some influence in how I save my money. So that's the 13 done. And we'll probably finish it together. And then what I will probably do is a live stream of me undoing this. But I will, if you don't like doing the live streams or anything like that, because they can take a really, really long time, I will be recording it as well for a video. So you'll have a full edited video as well. So you can either, well, I suppose you can do both because the video will be um, like the highlights of it. So the 13 envelope is done. I'm gonna go through the rest of them and I will see you back here in a sec.
so here is where we're at. We have got four envelopes left and I cannot believe the progress. Like, I think it's because it is just really slow going at the start if you did it the way I did it. So I focus on the larger numbers first. So that meant that some months I could only actually do one envelope in a month. Whereas what might be smarter is to start sort of in the middle because then you can do maybe two and you gain, gain momentum. I don't think that's gonna make it get done any time sooner, but where I'm at now is I've got 82 pounds left to do. And as I said, those three at least will be done with the patrons very, very soon. So we've got some exciting things happening really, really soon. And I'm so happy to have had you along this journey the whole time. So um, yeah, let's unstuff it really, really soon, Bestie. Thank you so much for being here with me. Nothing brings me joy more than cash stuffing because it has literally saved my life. So uh, I can't wait to cash stuff for next month and see how we get on. And thank you again so much for supporting me with the level of income that you did this month because it has been very, very stressful I've had some wonderful weeks on Essie. So thank you so much for being there with me. And I can't wait to see you again really, really soon. Hi guys, guys, and non-binary pals. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. I can't, I can't believe it. 82 pounds and I am done four envelopes and I'm done. And as I said in the video, these three I'm probably gonna do with the patrons anyway. And it'd be nice to end on a one because I think I started on a one. I'd have to look up that video, but yeah, there's literally four envelopes to do. SD. So just to know what you're looking out for, when I do finish that challenge, I'm gonna be doing a live and we'll be unstuffing it together live. That will be on my other channel, Don't Trust Ira. So if you haven't yet subscribed to that channel, have a look at the link in the description because it's there. We go live every Tuesday and every Thursday at half past eight GMT. I'll also be filming it as well on another camera so that I can edit and make a nice video out of it too. So there's plenty to do. So if you wanna see me unstuff that live, that's gonna be a very, very long live stream but if you want to see me unstuff that live uh it's gonna be quite soon like in the next sort of week and a half <sighs> thank you so much to everybody who supported me just all this time i know that it's a personal achievement for me to have done that 100 envelope challenge but most of you have been here since the start most of you have contributed in some sort of way to that 100 envelope challenge so just by having eyes on the video that's funded some of these envelopes like fully funded some of these envelopes so it's not just me unstuffing that 100 envelope challenge it's all of us because we did it together bestie an extra special thank you to the patrons because they are really helped me out with that 100 envelope challenge if you would like to join them and support me over on patreon please take a look at the link on the description you will not regret it bestie that's all we have for today and uh thank you again um, I'm feeling a bit emotional actually, but thank you again for an incredible month and thank you again for helping me with my progress. And yeah, I think there's only one thing I need to show you, but that's it, I'm going. See you later, see you really, really soon. Until the next video, Bessie, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And Bessie, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.